All right, good afternoon, boys and girls. My name's Kyle, and I'm here with my friend Chris, and we're gonna ride the Chief Ladiga Silver Comet Trail. It like scrap since I've been on the bike outside. You've been doing it on the trainer a lot? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if it's raised up like this a lot of the way. Feels so good. Yeah. Oh man, it's like being in a cave or something. That's that cold water coming out of the rock. It's crazy. It's like a little refrigerator. Ah, oh, it's nice of them to put dip bars here. So we've gone maybe 33, 34 miles. Uh, we've completed the Alabama section of Chief Ladiga Trail, and now we have come upon the Silver Comet. And um, I guess that was the name of the rail line back in the day. I'm not really sure how far we have to go. We have to make it to, I think, mile marker 37-ish, which is where our uh, campsite is for tonight. Does that mean we have 37 miles to go, or does that mean we have Four miles to go or three miles to go like how are the numbers counting we won't know until we go that way time for some snacks it though. better just be five miles Kyle <laughs> <laughs> yeah cuz uh, we kind of might run out of daylight sometime soon we probably got about an hour and 45 minutes maybe something like that yeah all right we'll check in later <sighs> oh yeah uh, all this shit on your bike? this bike is heavy man yeah. Light is fading, and uh, we're not there yet. So far we've done 50 miles, maybe about 14 or so left to go. So, because we got a late start and we're slow, we're gonna be riding in the dark. Time for some biscuits and gravy. One and a half cups of water. How much is that? Whatever. That much. Well, we finally found the public restroom for the campsite. Couldn't find it in the dark last night. It's just right around the corner here by the office. I don't know how we missed that. We're up. It's cold. We're gonna eat some breakfast, get everything packed up. Kyle's already got his water boiling. What are you eating? It's Biscuits gravy. and gravy. Well, good morning, it's cold. Uh, we're finishing packing up. Almost done. Of course it's me holding up the show. Breakfast was pretty good. We had some dehydrated meals. Um, not bad at all. Uh, but it is very cold. It's probably like 40 Fahrenheit. We're gonna get leaving here soon and then uh, we're gonna go to Smyrna, which is near Atlanta. So uh, 
uh, a couple pit bulls came out of nowhere from one of these little houses down the hill here off to our right. It gave them about a split second to consider whether they were a threat or not. And I think it's safe to say they were a threat, don't you Kyle? Oh my God. I was in a dead sprint and this pit bull is running me down. Like, I've never seen a dog move so fast in my life. I've considered bringing pepper spray and stuff like that many times after being chased by dogs. I don't know what pepper spray is going to do against the Usain Bolt of dogs, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we're having a good fun time. Damn, that's good. Hello. Interesting. Mexican in the shopping center just outside of Atlanta. It's gonna be good. Kyle, what do you get at the Mexican restaurant? lost the sandal like he does a thousand times now he's lost a lot of sandals like the amount of sandals that are floating around in the Pacific Ocean is how many sandals he has lost you got it okay we're back at the campsite again we've made it uh, we decided we're gonna stay here rather than keep going I don't know it'd be kind of nice to set up not in the dark here we are this is the Rock RV Park, or Beautiful Rock RV Park. Well, we got in too late last night to realize that there was a stack of firewood sitting over here. We couldn't see it in the dark. But tonight, we made the most of it. So we're gonna have a little sit by the fire. We're back in the saddle. Day three. 61 miles to go to the truck. we just gotten started. We decided to come into town for a good breakfast. So the other day, we're coming through here in the middle of the night on our way into Rock Mart. It's dark and the trail puts us right in the middle of a cemetery. At the time, we couldn't really get video of it, but I'm not kidding, it's literally in the middle of a cemetery. Like, part of the official Silver Comet Trail is the road that rings the cemetery. Sure, whatever. Don't be fooled. 
because this is a rail trail, you might think the max elevation can't be that bad. There's a, a noticeable portion of this ride. Piece of cake. That is not a piece of cake. No joke. No joke at all. Feels good though. Kyle's not stopping, he's ready to go. <laughs> I don't blame him. Oh, never mind. You don't say. part of the trip probably camping yeah yeah my favorite part was spending three days on the bike yeah and not at work burning all those calories sweating it out challenging myself pushing past the point that I felt like you know is this it is this all I've got <laughs> you know I think I was probably a little bit overconfident in my physical ability to start and some of those hills caught me off guard I did not expect the hills on the Georgia side the distance I think never really ready for the distance if you've never ridden it before and uh, you know I knew I had the 60 mile days in me and I, and I was pretty sure I had the 100 mile day in me but you get down some of those trails and start thinking about how far you've got to go or how far you've got to come back and that'll make the anxiety creep up in the back of your mind a little bit. We've done a lot together but this, this is, is a different suffering together is yeah. different <laughs> and I'm really thankful that you uh, came along with me it's hard to convince people to go ride 200 miles on the weekend and sleep in, on the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a great ride. It's a great weekend. Well, it's back to the drawing board for us to figure out the next one. Yeah. What's going to be next? Yeah. yeah.